They say necessity is the mother of invention. But invention drives the economy. The thing about inventions is that it solves problems and changes the world. Innovation has the power to solve problems, but it can also make things worse if not used correctly. There have been so many inventions in the past years and the world has changed tremendously since then. Life has become pretty easy for humans compared to the past. Here are the greatest inventions in the past 1000 years. Number 1, the printing press. The printing press is a mechanical device that applies pressure between an inked surface and a print medium like paper or cloth. It was invented by Johannes Gutenberg in the 15th century. Before the invention of the printing press, any drawings and writings had to be completed by hand. Books were transcribed by hand or by using wooden blocks, both of which were painstakingly slow and that meant that access to the printed word was limited to those who could afford their high prices. The press made it possible to print many copies of identical text on multiple sheets of paper. By the year 1440, Gutenberg had established the basics of his printing press and within 10 years he had constructed a working prototype of the press. In 1454, Gutenberg put his press to commercial use. It drastically reduced the cost of printing books and other documents. The printing press changed the world and helped to widely spread literacy. Knowledge is power, as the saying goes. Number 2, the light bulb. The electric light bulb has been considered as one of the most important inventions which changed the world. Thomas Edison is often known for the invention of the light bulb, but he did not actually invent electric light. He was neither the first, nor the only person trying to invent an incandescent light bulb. There were some inventors who worked on filament-based lamps many years before Edison. But the early electric lights were not commercially viable because they either burned out too quickly or they were too expensive. In 1879, Thomas Edison had a breakthrough and he realized a thin carbon filament with high electrical resistance is needed to make a light bulb commercially viable. He tested many materials and by 1880, Edison's bulbs lasted more than 1000 hours. While many inventors contributed to the development of the light bulb over the course of years, it was Thomas Edison who finally succeeded in making the light bulb commercially successful and one of history's most famous innovation. The light bulb extended the workday well into the night. It revolutionized how we view work and paved the way for a century of very fast progression. Number 3, the telephone. Alexander Graham Bell is the man credited for the invention of the telephone. But there is some controversy around this as there were other inventors who also developed a prototype of the telephone such as Alicia Gray and Antonio Mucci. In 1876, Alexander Bell was granted the patent for the telephone. It was an evolution from the telegraph. Early telephone phone calls had an operator, who would manually connect you to the phone line of the person you wanted to talk to. Later, as transmitter tech improved, the candlestick phones became obsolete and were replaced by new models which had the transceiver and receiver into one handset. By 1969, 90% of US households had a telephone. But this world-changing tech still had one downside. Wires. In 1973, Motorola became the first company to produce a handheld mobile phone. It created a global obsession with mobile telephones and mobiles became more powerful more affordable and more miniature in the next two decades. The technology and the power of devices grew fast and mobiles became multifunctional. The fourth invention that changed the world is the aeroplane, which was invented by Orville Wright and Wilbur Wright, also known as the Wright brothers. The dream of human flight must have begun with observation of birds soaring through the sky. For many years people have tried to make gliders and airplanes, but it wasn't until the 20th century that true heavier-than-air flight was cracked by Wright brothers in the United States. They carefully studied the work of their predecessors. Through trial and error, the brothers eventually developed their 1902 glider. This was a breakthrough in aircraft design. All it needed was a good propulsion system and the choice for them was obvious the internal combustion engine. Since there were no internal combustion engines available that fit the specialized needs of an aircraft, the brothers designed and built one of their own design with the help of a machinist, Charles Taylor. The engine weighed around 180 pounds, 
was able to develop 12 horsepower and was the last piece needed to achieve one of the greatest inventions. In 1903, the Wright brothers created the first successful powered airplane, the Wright Flyer. The rest, they say, is history. Number 5, the computer. The powerful computers which we see today were not the same in the past. The oldest known example of a computer is the Antikythera mechanism. It was a mechanical computer of bronze gears that used groundbreaking technology to make astronomical predictions. It predicted astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. The term computer was first being used as a job title in the 17th century. It was a person who performed mathematical calculations. Charles Babbage invented the first digital computer. The idea of mechanically calculating mathematical tables came to Baggage in 1812. He also created a small calculator. Later, in 1823, he obtained government support and created a difference engine, with a 20 decimal capacity. During the 1830s, Babbage developed plans for the analytical engine, the forerunner of the modern digital computer. The analytical engine, however, was never completed and his design was forgotten until his unpublished books were discovered in 1937. Babbage envisioned the basic elements of the present-day computer. After that, over the years, the computer developed and the first commercially successful personal computer, Altair, was developed in 1974 and the first laptop was developed in 1981. Charles Babbage designed three computers until his death in 1871 but never actually constructed any of them. There are multiple people who contributed to the development of the computer and it all led to the powerful modern computers and laptops which are used all over the world today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Watch out for more upcoming content. See you next time.